Hi all, welcome to another video of Angular PrimeNG. In this video, I am going to explain how we can use PrimeNG calendar. So we have lots of options in the PrimeNG calendar. First, we will go, go with basic calendar. So for that, you have to go to PrimeNG website and you have to take the option calendar. In that, we have to import the calendar module first. Okay, so in our project, I am having only one module. So I am going to import calendar module in this module. In your project, if you are using the calendar in any of the other module, please import the calendar module in that particular file. Okay, so I am importing that calendar module. So before importing calendar module, you have to make sure that you have a forms module. If you are using an ng model, you have to make sure you are using forms module and you have to make sure you are using browser animations module. So if you are not using this module, the calendar module uh, dropped and won't come, won't come actually. Okay, so make sure uh, browser animations modules are so also imported from the uh, platform browser animations library. Okay, yeah, then we can import the calendar module in the import section. So I'm here importing it and saving it. Then we have to go to component.html and you have to copy one. So this is a very basic structure of a calendar. So here I'm changing to a variable name called dob and I will declare that variable into in component.ts. So I came here, I declare the variable sorry dob which will accept a date then i am assigning or initiating the dob with some value so just i am just putting it as a current date saving it you can see now you can see the calendar okay so by default date is today's date it has been given all the date I can navigate it okay so this is the basic calendar the next thing is like we have noticed the date format if you want to change the date format there is a property called date format is there so date format property is there in that we can mention ddmmyyy so it uh, contains all the details why means it's a four digits why why means it four digits of the year it will show so if you want to uh, show it in any other format that also possible you can go through the documentation so here i am going to change in a very basic format so date format equal to dd slash mm slash yy now it is in a different format mm slash dd uh, format so i am changing that now you can see before it was 5 29 2022 now it is like a 29 5 2022 when i whenever i am selecting a date it has been changed to that the next main thing uh, we normally used in the calendar is validation like a min date validation and max date validation so for that purpose I'm just putting a variable like a min date and I'm setting a new date. What I am doing is like I'm setting the min date as one date before. So today is 29. So I'm uh, putting 28 as min date, saving it. Then I am using this variable inside the component.html then min date sorry min date equal to min date and i will save it now you can see 
my min days all the dates before it has been disabled and it uh, min date has been set as the 28 that is one day before okay the same way we can also set max date as well max date equal to new date of then i am putting one day after as the max date let me check in the calendar we have a 31st so i am making 31st as the max date saving it and i am using the variable max date and i am using it here max date equal to save it so here you can see after 31st also it has been disabled when you go to any other month also you can see it has been disabled so this is the min date and this is the max date the other thing you can able to see i should i will be able to edit directly here like a 21 6 so in order to avoid that we can make the read uh, read only as read only input as a true parameter so you can see here there is an another option like read only input so if you are making the read only input as a true user cannot be able to edit anything directly otherwise i am just removing this min date and max date and i can show you better so if i am saving this one you can see everything has been enabled and it is very easy for to navigate to the next month or 2023 as well 24 you can easily navigate by typing anything okay but in order to uh, avoid if user is typing any min date or max date uh, which is not a valid it is getting cleared or if you want to avoid that what you can do is like let me keep min date and max date and i can put read only input as a true so what will happen is i cannot able to type anything in the input box it will be in a disable mode it will be a read only input okay so that is the other option then if you want to you know uh, see the time as well there is an option called show time as true here it will show only the date right the same way if you want to see show time as true but you can see there will be some error if you type show time directly as a true so what you can do is like you can put a square bracket then save it and then you will be able to you can see the time as well so if you want to change the format that is also possible like our format is there 12 and 24 the next one is like a show button true option so what is show button true option is there i can show you in the prime ng tutorial itself if you go to the here there is a link uh, of stack blitz so you can when you can go through it there are different options are available okay so if you want to disable something and if you want to you know min and max every different options will be available so one of the one one is the other uh, main thing i want to tell you is like a disable days so if you want to uh, disable some days like a saturday all saturdays and sundays if you want to disable inside the calendar there is a simple option like that let me remove all the other options first yeah there is an another option called disable days then you can put an array of 0 comma 6 then what will happen is sorry it's disable this 
so it should be also in the square bracket save it then you can see all sundays and saturdays is in a disabled state the same way if you want to you know make it as monday to you can give one something like that and the other thing is like if you want to specifically disable particular dates okay so for example i want to disable 5 28 2022 and 5 31 2022 there is disabled invalid date something like a we can give it invalid dates equal equal to an array in that you can push the invalid dates okay so min date and max date and save it and we can make invalid dates as the disabled dates disabled dates equal to save it so you can see 31st it is a disable and i have disabled 28 seams let me change to 28 let me change to 25 then you will be able to differentiate properly so 25 you can see 25 is a disabled date 31 is a disabled date that also option is also available okay then the next option the main option is like range so if you want uh, in, in order to make you know a start date and end date there is an option called a range date so if you select two dates together this will be considered as a start date and this will be considered as the end date for doing that there is a parameter called range option is there so we can enable the range options i can show it to you you can see we can make a selection mode as a range then to do the date will be an array equal to an array and you can make as selection mode as range then you can select two dates you can see 15 5 7 if you want to change the date format that is also possible here so these are the main types of you know dates you will be able to put here and another option is like a on change event so based on the on change event uh, we can you know uh, we can trigger different functionalities as well so let me show you the options of on select or on blur on show so on month change year change so mainly we can focus on the on select option so so i'm adding an on select even listener select date range then I will get an event saving it Let's see we will write a function here event then console dot log of event save it let me add as an any option here i am just consoling the event and i am just consoling the dob dob means whatever the ng model value assigned to this variable that variable i am i'm showing here okay i am saving it then we can check how it will work so when i select second may it is coming 5 to 2022 but in both places it is coming as the date format okay if I, if I select two dates event 
is coming but you know it is coming as an array structure that is the expected one but if i want in the same structure it is showing here what we will do so there is an option called data type equal to string so by default this property has a date date value that's why it is uh, showing always the date if you make it as a string we can check how it will reflect you can see in the ng model value it has been pushed the same structure we are selecting so we will get the same structure if you want to want to change the date format date format equal to dd mm yy save it then you can see it is the same structure you will get it inside an array so this is the one which is called date type we can use it and in this scenario if you want to select any date by default what you can do is like if you want to show min date and max date something like that you can put min date this dot min date comma this dot max date save it and it will appear like that so while make by making a default selections you have to always pass in the date format other scenario it will work fine so this is how the date picker have different option and date picker different options are working so other than what i have mentioned there are lots of other options as well in the prime ng calendar so what you can do is like you can go to the prime ng website and the calendar and there are a lot of example when you click on this options it will show a lots of example with the working demo and all the codes has been written here as well so you can refer those and you can easily do the remaining things